Hi, welcome back to Cadeval. This is Engineer Brian Uba, and today we'll be modeling a spoon in SolidWorks. Uh, it would be a good practice for uh, surfacing. So let's go to here SolidWorks, and here you can see our model. And the commands I have used for this spoon is uh, 3D curves, and then four reference planes, and then a surface fill, thicken, and fillet. So let's learn by doing. Let's go to New, click uh, click here New, uh, click Part, and click OK. And now we are in SOLIDWORKS interface. So first of all, I'll change my background to plain white and my units are already in MMGS. So let's make the front profile. Let's go to here front plane, click here sketch and we'll make the uh, basic uh, front profile of this uh, spoon. So let's go to here center line and let's make a center line from here to here. Uh, the overall length would be 200 millimeters. So let's change it to 200 and the dimension from let's say here to this origin, it would be 70 millimeters. Okay, and uh, we'll make uh, two three point arcs. So let's make first arc from here to here, and let's make uh, second three point arc from here to here. Okay, and this arc would be tangent to this front, uh, this uh, first arc. Let's make it tangent. Okay, still it is uh, underdefined as you can see that. So let's make it constraint and let's give uh, it uh, a dimension of 50. Uh, now you can see that this front profile is uh, fully defined as you can see that sketch color is turned into black and you can see here as well fully defined okay so let's go to uh, here top plane and sketch and here normal to view okay so we we'll make the second profile or the top profile okay so let's select this spline and we will make a three point spline one point here one point here and one point here okay just rotate it and uh, just uh, select this point and hold control key and select this point and make coincident also this point and this point and make it coincident okay uh, now we'll give uh, them a dimension from here to here is 70 okay and now we'll drag this handle to here and make it vertical also this handle would be vertical okay so let's uh, give this uh, uh, a dimension of uh, let's say 120 also this dimension would be 60 so let's change it to 60 and let's drag this point to here and let's drag this handle to somewhere here okay and let's make a center line and it will help us uh, when we'll be mi uh, mirroring this uh, sketch okay and let's change this length to let's say 160 and also this angle the angle from here to here is let's say 28 let's change it to 28 okay and uh, okay so let's mirror it and let's go to here mirror entities and entities to mirror would be this profile and mirror about this line and click ok well here you can see that sketch is still underdefined so we'll make another uh, dimension go to your smart dimension again and select this point and select this origin and change it to seven and a half okay now you can see that sketch is fully defined so click this and uh, now the top profile and front profile is done and now i'll go to here features curves and project curve select this sketch and select this sketch and click OK and now you can see your uh, uh, let's say uh, 3D curve okay so let's go to the sketch again and uh, 3D sketch and click here convert entities and select this and click OK and now you can see your uh, 3D sketch okay so let's hide this and now we'll make uh, four reference planes four uh, uh, reference planes and uh, okay so let's go to features again and go uh, go to the reference plane click this plane and uh, let's say let's make it view from here okay so uh, our first uh, reference would be this right plane and uh, let's change it to 30 millimeters okay and let's make another reference planes uh, another reference plane and uh, let's make it 40 and let's change it to uh, flip side 
here okay uh, now i'll go to your reference plane again and uh, this time my first reference would be this one and uh, flip side and let's make it a 60 millimeter offset okay and lastly uh, i'll go to reference plane again this time my first reference would be this plane flip offset and let's change this to 50 okay and we are done with four uh, with four reference plane uh, basically uh, we'll add uh, a uh, three point arc on each of this uh, plane and uh, then we will use these arcs when we'll be uh, surfacing okay so first uh, click this uh, plane one sketch and go to here three point arc and we'll make a three point arc let's say here to here okay so click this uh, this point and click this and make it pierce also this point and this point and make it pierce okay uh, now we uh, give them uh, some dimension so let's go to here smart dimension tool click this and change it to 25 now you can see that the this sketch is fully defined click this and now we'll hide the first plane so first plane is done uh, next is uh, plane 2 uh, sketch and uh, go to here three point arc again and we'll make a simple arc here click this point click this point and make peers and now you can see that no intersection found for a pierce point so let's select this point and now select this one now it will work make peers okay select this point and this and make peers okay let's go to smart dimension tool and let's make it seven okay you can see that it sketch is fully defined and now we'll hide this second plane second plane is done next is the third plane so let's click this and uh, we'll click here sketch and we'll go to here three point arc again let's make three point arc click this point click this and make it pierce also this point and this and make it pierce now go to smart dimension and we'll dimension it to let's say eight you can see that it sketch is uh, fully defined and now this plane is done we'll make uh, we'll hide this lastly this plane four and uh, click this sketch three point arc and sorry let's go to three point arc again click this point click this peers also this point this point peers and let's go to smart dimension tool let's dimension it uh, let's say 15 okay and let's hide the plane 4 so we are done with these uh, uh, let's say some uh, uh, three point arcs uh, let's go to surfacing and uh, uh, we can try loft as well and uh, we have to choose this point this point this point this point this point and this point and then we'll uh, use these sides for uh, uh, the uh, curves so let's go to here field surface and uh, patch boundary is this 3d curve which we have uh, uh, converted let's select this and uh, uh, let's make it okay and now you can see that uh, this is not a a spoon right that's why we have created these uh, guide curves uh, to make it a uh, real spoon right so let's go to field surface again and uh, let's constrain these curves with these select this one this one this one and this one and click uh, and click ok and now you can see that it is a uh, it is a daily spoon right uh, okay now you can see that it is a surface body it is not a solid body so this uh, current thickness is zero so let's go to thicken tool and let's select this one and let's change it to one millimeter okay and click okay and now it is a real spoon uh, okay lastly i'll go to fillet tool and uh, let's change this to let's say 0.1 mm 
and uh, I'll select the uh, this top face and this bottom face sorry let's change it 2.1 and uh, select this bottom face okay you are, now you can see the preview click ok so uh, we are done with this uh, modeling of a spoon in SOLIDWORKS uh, lastly I will go to here uh, appearance and uh, metal and steel and polished steel now you can see that spoon with a polished steel uh, appearance uh, let's do a quick uh, rendering in key shot so let's go to here and go to tools key shot 9 and send this model to key shot for rendering uh, key shot will take some time to open i am using key shot 9 just cancel this and uh, okay now you can see that shadows are not correct just uh, right click on the model move part upside snap to ground and a little bit upside okay and now you can see your model uh, let's apply some material so click M for material and uh, okay let's apply this material and uh, I'm doing a very basic rendering so let's go to environment background color uh, solid white color and let's go to lighting and check this box caustics just pan this to here and uh, a little bit tumble with a perspective that's fine okay so let's go to here render render and uh, that's fine 128 samples and uh, let's make render uh, okay so we are done with this uh, uh, tutorial of spoon uh, i hope you like it and uh, if you have any questions regarding this tutorial or any other tutorial in my list, uh, you can ask in comment section. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to our channel for more informative and interesting projects. Thank you.